Hey everyone, welcome back to Kelsel's Arcade. In this session, we're gonna be checking out some nice little additions that you can get from Sabo's Arcade. First up, you can see on the top here, we're gonna take a look at the topper. And then, haven't replaced it yet, but we're gonna be swapping out the marquee and showing you the difference between the stock marquee and uh, the marquee that comes in this excellent kit from Sabo's Arcade. Other than that, we have kept this cabinet stock. Haven't done the review yet, we will do. I gotta tell you, we love it. Anyway, let's talk about the marquee. I'm gonna fit that first. And then we'll talk about the topper after. All right, so here's the marquee from Sabo's Arcade. It's not a sticky, it's just a slide in. I'm gonna do this live so you can learn with me. Uh, we're gonna see if we can remove the, uh, the existing stock marquee without actually uh, turning off the cabinet or putting it on its side. We're gonna see if we can do it in place. So I have no idea if this is gonna work or if we're both going to learn something here. Well, let's see, I can't remember. On the construction of this cabinet, whether this top panel just lifts it out or not. I'm guessing there's probably some dowels in there. I can't remember, it's been a while since we made this cabinet. Probably the dowels that are preventing it from coming out, so let's loosen everything off. There we go. And that top piece just comes straight up. It's nice and easy. Here's the old and new marquee together. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I've I said this on the unboxing. There's nothing actually wrong with the stock marquee on this one. It's one of the better ones. The black is pretty black. Um, this is slightly better. There's actually a little bit of damage on the corner there, but you won't see that once it's in. I do like the fact it says midway though, so for that reason, it's worth changing. Recommend if you're doing this approach, don't over tighten any of the screws, just get them all in and lined up first. You gotta make sure the dowels haven't misaligned. Everything's lined up before you go ahead and tighten those up. Okay, everything's kind of uh, leveled up there. What do you think? think? It looks better, is it noticeable? Just quickly just pause the video here, I'll take a picture and I'll be back. So I just popped up the picture here that I took alongside the video here. You know what? I said this in the unbox and I'll say it again. Do you need to replace the marquee on this cabinet? Absolutely not. It is one of the better ones. If I compare this to Killer Instinct, for example, it's night and day. It's not a sticker on top. The light box is behind, it's a piece of plexi. It's a much better design for these marquees. Absolutely no need to change it. If you like the topper and you wanna get the kit from Sabo's Arcade for the cost of it and you saw how easy it was to change, I definitely recommend getting this. Um, but let me just go ahead and tighten up all the screws and then we're gonna take a look at the topper. Okay, so everything's tightened back up. We've turned on the topper. Probably should have made this video at night so you can see the light better. Um, however, it is what it is. Oh, and apologies. Picture of the queen up here behind. We've actually got a limited edition Paul Oz Terminator piece of art that's gonna go here. 
I just need to get it framed and then we're gonna swap out the queen. Uh, sorry, your majesty. So anyway, look at this topper, check it out. It's a lit topper. I think it really finishes the cabinet off very nicely. Obviously we've got the new marquee in place. That's pretty flawless. Let's just show you how this works. So there's a, a light on the back. So it's a backlit piece of plexi, very nicely done. Comes with its own power supply and you've got an on off switch here that can also control the brightness. So you can adjust right down on off or just a little bit or on the max setting there. And then that just plugs in separately. I guess you could kind of wire it into um, the uh, PCB if you wanted to with a splitter, but absolutely no need. Comes with its own power supply and plugs right in. So, as I said, do you need to replace the marquee on this cabinet? Absolutely not. For the money, I would definitely recommend it. The kit, if you're buying the topper, you may as well get the marquee as well in the kit. I can't remember what it was, an extra 15, 20 bucks, something like that. I think it's a nice touch. Absolutely love this cabinet. And I think these are nice additions. So if you've got Terminator 2, you wanna do this customization, go check out Sabo's Arcade and Kelsey's Arcade definitely recommends this kit. Big thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this kind of thing, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Happy gaming.